a case of Simon, we threw everything at that to try and keep the clean sheet, but just couldn't quite get there in the end. No, again, it's gone against us today. Um, but what we've just said in there is if that group of players continues with that attitude, that desire, that application, then I believe we'll be fine. Um, because they give everything today. It's like a walk, a battle site in there. There's people with cuts, bruises, obviously George and Max struggling a bit, but they give everything. And we told you that we would give everything as a group, and I don't think anybody in the ground today could disagree that we literally, physically and mentally gave everything. And again, um, we look at the goal, it's a poor goal to concede. It's come from a decision that's gone against us, but we get a lot of them at the minute, so you've got to deal with it. Um, but yeah, we've got to do better for the goal, we know that, but like I said, if them boys in there keep giving us that, then we can't ask for any more. Is there anything you maybe could have done in hindsight to get us a little bit higher up the pitch and relieve the pressure? Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, we tried, I think we was positive, I think we was doing fine um, up till 65, 70 minutes. We thought we'd bring Jake on, we thought there was a little opportunity maybe for him to play off Cass and get him behind and get high up the pitch, but obviously it wasn't to be. But we tried, and those boys who played, Jack Richards came on at the end and tried to make a difference, to be fair to him. Um, but all the lads, again, it's, it's easy to so do this, do that, but they give everything, and um, that's all we can ask for, and we go again. Frustration, it was a set piece. Yes, set piece that, from my view and a few other views, we shouldn't have had to have defended, but we did, and then we didn't defend it well enough. Um, I think he's got in front of three of our defenders, and we've not tracked the runner, but that's, we'll deal with that. But again, like I said, it's it's everything else today that's come together, and if we keep going like that, we'll, um, we'll be fine, but we do need to improve, obviously, on little things around the game like that. Looking ahead or looking back to the first half, do you think we were unlucky not to go in at half time winning? Yeah, I think we played um, exactly how we asked them. I'm sure how they wanted to play. We were front foot, everybody was positive. We played some lovely football at times. We had a move in the corner, one two, and yeah, I think anyone today would have seen that the first 45 minutes probably the best we played for a long while. Um, and if we're going up, one nil up, it's a different game, but again, I'm going to. Be the same old drum if the lads keep putting that effort and that attitude and keep believing um, that's a massive word keep believing it's hard when you get beat um, it's the easiest thing for a manage, manager to say keep believing but me and Trist have just said in there we, we believe and they should believe and I think judging by the reaction they're, they're starting to believe Were you pleased with the high press in the first half seeing they tried to play out but the sort of four forward players did a good job of uh, getting on top of them? Yeah, I think everyone did. They're backed up um, by the back four. I think we we asked them to go and get at them, be brave, go and at the end of the day, like I said to you when I first came in, well, we've got nothing to lose. So we were brave, we went and pressed, we tried pressing high and it worked. And I said they'd give us everything. Yes, we're tired towards the end, but after the last two performances, I'm sure nobody will um, be upset that we got a little bit tired towards the end, but again, we, we can't ask for any more. So now I suppose we look ahead, another long trip, but again, just another game where we go and just see, do our best, see if we can get something. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, uh, it's, we seem to do well away from home. Um, we've got to change that. But yeah, it's, it's again, we, we, we've just got to keep believing. Um, I'm not sure how they get on today, but um, they've struggled the last few games. So we'll concentrate and give the boys everything we can to look at them. But again it's more about ourselves going again and getting this group believing because if they believe and they keep giving us what they're giving us then we're good enough to beat anybody on our day and that's what we'll be going to do and we've got another couple of days to prepare um, like I say a long journey we'll go up Friday stay overnight and then we'll give everyone the best shot and go to Hartlepool another football league club um, still in my opinion and in everyone's it's a football league club it's a club that's one of the biggest in this league so we'll enjoy it as well we'll look forward to it um, no fear no one's um, nervous to be now um, we won't go into too much about them but again it's, you've got to enjoy going to places like that and that's where we want to we want to stay and aspire to do you think it'll be beneficial to have that trip up and the time together to get the boys a bit closer um, yeah i think so i mean um, we've had a few long trips um, so far this season. I think this is one that had the same last year. It's a little bit more awkward with trains and changing, etc. So I think that plays well. But it'd be good, the lads. They're a close knit group. Um, we'll get good. We'll, I think we'll leave Friday morning, so we'll have all Friday, Friday night to talk to each other and do whatever we do when we go away. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be good for everyone to to, um, to get together and hopefully, like I say, we've just got to keep building and keep believing in what we're doing.